Hello and welcome back. And for today's video, I'm going to show you how you can achieve dynamic subdivision where you can control the amount of geometry that is create, getting created in your mesh basis of another object, which can help you immensely increase the performance of your next animation. So let's get right into it. All right. So I have a basic geometry node set up here where I have created a plane and subdivided it four times. Now, let me explain you the problem statement first, and then maybe we can go into the solution. So I have a basic displacement setup here, which can be used to displace the object using another object, right? So for example, I've got a sphere in my 3D setup, and I can use that to displace the geometry on the plane. But now the issue is that if I want, so like if I'm, since I'm displacing it using minimal geometry, the displacement doesn't look that appealing. And if I want to make it a little bit more appealing, I would have to increase the number of subdivisions and maybe then it gets a lot more smoother, but again, still not smooth enough to be presentable, right? So I need to add more subdivisions and that can make my entire model very heavy for my computer to handle and if you have a potato pc like me then this can be a very big problem and limit a lot of things that you can do how do we solve this well there is one easy way to go about doing that so let's reduce this subdivision to let's say five what i can do is that since i'm using this sphere to displace things i can create a way to delete the geometry for from the mesh that has less number of subdivisions so the way we delete something is using a delete geometry node right and let's plug this in let's say we want to delete faces now i've already made a setup that uh, says that if the sphere is as close as 0.2 from the original object that's when i want to displace it i can just use the similar setup to go ahead and delete the geometry as well right and it just deletes the faces now let's come back to the original section so i can just duplicate this delete geometry node here and let's plug this in and we're going to use join geometry node and let's plug this in right here i can just simply take this value out of this less than node and add a node called not and let's plug this into the selection of geometry node and it plugs in or brings back the geometry that was originally deleted now if you look at it at a surface level it looks like there is only one mesh but in the back end you can see that there are two different streams of mesh or two different streams of geometry that is getting joined into join geometry here right so i can just plug in this subdivide mesh right here and now immediately i get a very heavily subdivided surface here but if you see that if i if i just go about doing this there are still gaps in here right and one way to solve that is uh, i can just duplicate this less than node and uh, i can say that if it is less than 0 0.1 or if it is not less than 0 0.1 yeah i can say it's if it's uh, less than 0 0.3 and then inverse it i just get other geometry that is overlapping the original geometry and now it fills up any gaps that we have in between so now i can just move these sphere along and it is only subdividing meshes where the sphere is closer to it and again this is just an example you can add different ways to select the geometry that you want to subdivide more it's as easy as that now i can also just simply take this uh, set position node and uh, plug this in here and let's say i want to displace the geometry that's close to it right so like which which was this as as the qualifier so i'll plug this in here and i'll plug my displacement in here and immediately i get something which has a lot of geometry and it's a lot more smoother but yeah i guess theoretically that's that's how you achieve dynamic subdivision so i really hope this video was helpful and you liked it if you did please do like share and subscribe and i'm gonna see you in the next one